Hey, what's up guys? I am excited because I'm on my bike trainer and after this workout, I get to go to the airport to pick up Carrie and the kids. They stayed out in Oregon for an extra week and I'm super excited, but I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm doing today in this daily dose. So it's a Sunday and my family was not here and I basically worked all day, but it didn't feel like work because I, because I like what, I, what I'm doing, right? I was working on some new marketing initiatives for our real estate team, working on things coming up for the Hyperfast Summit, our two-day event in November that you, know, you guys should check out if you have not already because it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be the best real estate event ever. But it didn't feel like work. Like when you have fun doing it, when you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. Okay, right now, by the way, I'm on my bike trainer. You can see the workout, uh, my setup here, and I'm having fun doing this. All right, not, it, it, you know, it's not always this way though. So let me talk a little bit about that because a lot of people say, well, uh, lucky for you, you love what you do. Well, it's not always that way. Like I think the first time, you know, people that, that become serious, marathoners or ultra distance athletes they don't always love getting up early and doing it but but over time they do it right and then they hang out with people that do it and that shapes their environment that shapes their beliefs they get in the habit of doing it and just becomes a part of their identity who they are and they enjoy doing it and it may be the same for you if you're starting out in real estate like you might not like making calls you might get nervous at listing appointments or buyers appointments that's okay have a big enough why to push through that, right? You get through that initial period where maybe the, the reward in terms of your happiness or financial return is flat, but then all of a sudden it starts getting easier and it goes like this. And you get that hockey stick curve up of happiness and I think financial reward. All right, and I think that's the key, like in anything is Get through that initial period. The key to doing that is having a big enough why. Know why you're gonna do it. Know what is at the end. Have an end vision in mind. And then just show up, shut up, and do it. Like put your head down and don't complain until you've tried it for at least a year, sometimes longer. Because if you have the ability to do that, to put off the short-term displeasure, discomfort of whatever you're doing because you know a bigger long-term goal reward is coming you will succeed at the highest levels that's the it's a very very common thread between everyone who has succeeded at the highest levels all right so i'm going to get back to riding on my bike in the gym which a lot of people don't like doing the, you know a lot of people only like doing this outdoors but i've done it enough that i love doing it and i hope whatever you're doing that you love it or you're on your way to loving it if you enjoyed this content please give me a thumbs up Please subscribe, please leave me some comments, give me some feedback, let me know what you want me to cover in the future, and I'll see you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave us a comment, hit that like button, and share it with someone else that you think would benefit from it. And if you want more, click here to watch more videos, or click here to subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. And if you wanna learn about our coaching program, click right here. I'll see you next time.